Hello guys, welcome to the Melancholic Believer where we talk about the amazing melancholic temperament from a Christian perspective. And and today's video I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to be talking about the the conscientious melancholic. One of the most notable traits of the melancholic temperament is being easily influenced. That is by situation, by emotions, by feelings, and by the environment. And being highly conscientious, which means being influenced by conscience which is the make which is making decisions based on right or wrong that is good or bad and a melancholic believer might ask questions like is it good to do this is it good is it bad to do this is this okay is this right is this wrong it is see and when they hear the answer to these questions they tend to study to add think this will now become a part of them these answers will become their ideology, their standard, their principles, what they tend to, to obey past time. Okay. And the issue now is that when these answers or this or this conscious or these conscientious thoughts becomes difficult for them to, to follow, becomes to or becomes burdensome, becomes inconvenient for them, they will fall back, likely into compromise or into sickly doing what they speak against okay and in some extreme cases it might even lead to depression so does this relate with you well if yes let me know your thoughts in the co- in the let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well a typical example of conscientious people in the bible are the pharisees who held the law which is the do's and don'ts of the land to their hearts with little or no understanding the phone is hard to work the phone is hard to work with this with this law which they claim to carry hence they will compromise they will be sinning in secret they will doing things they said the other shouldn't do because it's just too hard to follow okay and this made them to become hypocrites and an hypocrite is someone who practices hypocrisy who pretends to hold beliefs or, or whose actions are not consistent with their claimed beliefs so let's let's check out the scriptures now in matthew 5 verse 20 so jesus speaking and he said i tell you this you must always do what is right you must live in a way that is better than the teachers of god's law and the pharisees you will never come in, into the kingdom of heaven if you do not do better than them to live in a way better than teachers of god's law and the Pharisees, you will need to live by the Holy Spirit, that is God's Spirit. Let's check out, let's check out Philippians 2 verse 13, which says now, Yes, God is working in you to help you want to do what pleases Him. Then He will give you power to do it. Because most people walk by conscience, or should I say, by what feels right to them or what the culture says is right, what they feel is right, what people are saying is right, and what society is, what society is saying in general. However, in the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy 12 verse 8, what of God says that you shall not do according to all that we are doing here this day. Every man doing what is right in his own eyes. Do you see that? Now let's check proverbs 4, 14 verse 12 now there's always a way that seems right to a man but its end is the way to death or some will say destruction so you may be asking that how should how then should i live you must live by the holy spirit because it's going to help you to please god not, not just men not just your church your society your country and this going to make you free and going to let you be in peace and make you feel whole and not just living under bondage as well okay bible says in the book of deuteronomy 12 verse 20 that be careful to eat all these words which i command you that it may go well with you and with your children after you forever when you do what is good and right in the sight of the lord your god one more time and right good and right in the sight of the lord your god 
so because of time and because of the video's length i will make a follow-up video like a sequel on the holy spirit and conscience in more detail in my next video by god's grace but in the meantime check out this video which i also watch before making this video as well that video actually blessed me a lot talking about conscience talking about conscience and talking about the holy spirit it's actually more videos like this but i will just leave the theory of them in the description below so please check them out as well and also there's a book called spirit control temperament which i recommend for every melancholic out there not just every melancholic but everybody as well so please i'll leave a link in the description please check it out and read it as well okay so that was the video i hope you've been blessed by it and i would like to just tell your friends about the channel as well more tell your friends as well tell your family and leave a like as well show some love in the comment section and let me hear from you as well thanks for watching god bless you bye i love you